Hey guys, HM Masters here, and today we are going to be breaking down the new clip from Season 8 of Ninjago, or the Sons of Garmadon. Now right off the bat in the beginning of this introduction clip, we are introduced to three masked characters who could either be the group known as the Sons of Garmadon, or the six ninja that we already know. They go on a mission to infiltrate a museum in search of a mask similar to the one that they are wearing, and they steal this mask and are confronted by what appears to be the new version of Lloyd and they fight. Lloyd chases after them and one of them escapes with the mask and Lloyd says to Pixel that it's time to regather the rest of the team. Now obviously the most important part of this clip is Lloyd. Lloyd has been drastically changed to closely resemble his movie counterpart with the only difference being that he is mostly green. However, there is more to this that we know. With the idea that this season is called the Sons of Garmadon and the known fact that this is going to closely resemble the movie, or at least that the movie and the TV show do go together, there could be more to it. What if the Ninjago movie was one of the 16 realms and the ninja have visited this realm and searched for Wu, and we are now going to be able to get an interaction between Lloyd from the TV show and Lloyd from the movie. Now, just think about that. The idea of the ninja interacting with each other. There's very, very different possibilities that could go here. Now, this is not all that likely to me, although it is very possible at the same time. I'm more expecting them to go in the direction of a reboot and go in more of the style of the movie since LEGO has said that they want to bring Ninjago to the next level and this is probably the best way that they could do it especially since with Ninjago having so many seasons with the current cast of characters that we know there isn't a whole lot that they can really go with here aside from Cole because most of them have already been developed and there's not much left for them to do so a reboot is really what this show needs a reboot really could bring the show into the next direction and really bring it to the next level now Lloyd also has a change in voice actor which I'm personally fine with I think it's fine I don't have any problems with them changing the voice actor as I was never really too attached to Lloyd and I didn't like the idea that his voice didn't really change much from his entire AG process but that's just me this trailer also revealed that Pixel is back, which is very interesting that they're just gonna kind of jump the gun and go straight into like, Pixel's back, yay, Pixel's here again, without even really explaining where she came from for some reason, so if the Ninjago movie is one of the realms, I guess they could explain this in the movie as a plot point, but I, it's gonna be left unexplained otherwise, which is kind of unfortunate, but it does seem to lean towards the idea that Pixel won't be Samurai X, which is interesting. But then at the same time, we don't even know if Samurai X is gonna be a part of this, if, you know, this whole reboot thing that they seem to be going for. Samurai X really gonna be a part of it? I'm going to expect that Samurai X will, but it's it's very, very different there. You just got so many different plot points here. There's so many different directions they can go now with the whole thing here. It's just gonna be very interesting to see how this is. We also know for a fact that the location of Wu and his elemental power is going to be addressed in this season, which is great. I'm very excited for that because we don't really know anything in terms of Master Wu's elemental power. It's just pretty much like, oh, he's he's the son of the first Ninjutsu master. That's that's all you get. Yeah, he can do some Ninjutsu. So we're going to learn more about that, which is great. You know, we'll probably finally get a definitive answer to what his elemental power actually is, and we'll see how it works, which is very exciting, something I'm definitely looking forward to. And last but not least is, of course, the actual new possible sets we've seen from this. So obviously, the main sets here that we have gotten a look at is Lloyd's vehicle and this motorcycle. Now, Lloyd's vehicle looks pretty cool. I like it. It's an interesting design, but that is not a bad thing. It looks a lot like Cole's Tread Assault, which I personally really like that vehicle, so... I'm actually really excited for this. It's gonna be interesting to see how it works out and this motorcycle looks okay Um, it's not like the best motorcycle in the world But there is that cool function that those blades can come out But uh, it's not the best motorcycle build we're going to be getting but it's still cool And that is pretty much it for this quick little breakdown of the season 8 introduction video 
Now, uh, let me know what you guys really think here. Um, personally, I'm really hoping that they go in the direction of the Ninjago movie being one of the 16 realms, as I could really easily see these six characters being the ninja, since they seem to be wearing ninja geese, and the only thing that really has prevented us from knowing thus far is the fact that they have these masks on. There's just, there's a lot of potential here as to why they could be, but we need to know the motives first, which will be explained later on when we actually get to see the season. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.